Hi, I'm Alaskan photographer Jeff Schultz, official photographer of the Iditarod. Many people ask me, what do I bring on the Iditarod for gear? Well, today I'm going to show you what that is. So first, I'll just tell you that this is pretty much how I walk around during Iditarod. I have one body with a 100 to 400 over my shoulder and uh, another body with a 24 to 105 lens around my neck. And it typically always has a flash on it because I never know when I'm going to need it. I do have a day pack with me as well, but I really do, I don't bring it with me. It's in the airplane or it's maybe at the checkpoint, but I don't walk around with it. It's just a pain in the neck. I leave it places and never go back for it. And pretty much the only thing in there extra would be a 70 to 200 f 2.8 lens some more batteries of course all my extra tools and things like that and some extra flashes and another thing that i have in my backpack is a spare body this is a 5d mark IV, and i use it basically just as a spare but also i use it for like time lapse photography or aurora photography when i don't when i'm busy with these other bodies shooting something i'll set this up on a tripod to photograph time lapse or something like that and it's just a good spare to have around or another option is if these are going to stay outside cold all all day long i'll take this one inside and use it for indoor shots and having it warm the other item that i bring with me is a tripod of course for northern lights aurora pictures or long exposures with headlamps, something like that. And I don't bring my very best and heaviest tripod out on Iditarod because I don't want to lug it. So I bring a carbon fiber Manfrotto tripod that's fairly small. It's only about 24 inches long. And as always, I always use a really right stuff head. I think they're the very best. They lock quick. Everything's really good about really right stuff. So not a whole lot that goes in there. So what do I use? I use a Canon 1DX Mark II. I like it because the batteries last forever in this thing, even at sub-zero temperatures. That's one of the reasons I use it. But one of the main reasons I use it is because they have a function on the back here that's a little microphone that when I shoot a picture, I can actually click and hold that and I can say, hey, it's Martin Boozer at the Summit of Rainy Pass. And that way I caption it and I know, or my assistant knows, a day or 10 later what it was. That's one of the biggest features of this. Of course, it's a sports camera too, so I'm shooting 14 frames a second oftentimes. It's a robust camera. It takes the, the crap that I throw at these uh, cameras all the time, so I really like that. Now, I mentioned that I carry two bodies. The other body is indeed another 1DX Mark II, and it has a 100 to 400 on it. And it's a slower lens, yes, but it has a longer reach. And this day and age, the sensors are so good on this camera that even at f5.6, if I have to, if I need a faster shutter speed, I just increase the ISO and it works just fine. Now, in my vest, I have everything else I need. I have a 16 to 35 f2.8 lens, which I use quite a bit. It is big and it is heavy, but it sits there. If I'm not using the flash, I know I'm not going to use it, then I'll take that off and I'll put that in my pocket here as well. Also in my vest is one thing I'm always constantly in need of, and that is a lens cloth. I love these gray lens cloths from Canon. I highly recommend these because they're very absorbent. Now also, if it's warm enough out, then I'll just have my batteries right here. They're, all, they're just sitting right there. Also, what I have right here is a cable release. So all that stuff is handy having it right on my person. So now, if it is sub-zero outside, then I've got my batteries inside my pocket where it's warm, somewhere close to my body. And if it's super sub-zero temperatures, I want to keep my batteries warm. So I'll use something like this, a hand warmer, mechanical hand warmer. But as long as my batteries are warm, my cameras are going to work. My cameras stay out outside all day long, even if I go inside. I might bring the batteries in, but I leave the cameras out. I, want them, I don't want them to get frosted up by condensation. I did do another video on how to keep my batteries warm and cameras working as well. Also, I have my polarizer filters right there. 
various sizes for depending on what lens I'm using at the time. Another thing that I have in my pocket all the time on Iditarod, believe it or not, are graduated neutral density filters. Now this is not my landscape kit of filters, this is my action and backpacking kit, meaning it's much lighter weight. So all of these filters are resin filters as opposed to glass, so they're made by Singray. And I do use a Lee filter system holder for that. So that's sitting in that pocket. So I basically have everything I need right here in my vest. I walk around checkpoints all day long just looking for the right photograph. So it's a pretty basic simple kit and that's honestly what I, I feel I need is to keep things as simple as possible. Otherwise, I just don't get the job done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to it. That really helps support the channel and my photography. And also please let me know what you'd like to see. You can follow my work on schultzphoto.com. Thanks so much.